In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the meristematic tissues, apical meristem, lateral meristem, and intercalary meristem. Structure of meristematic tissue. The meristem term is coined by Nageli. Nageli coined the term meristem. It is spherical in shape and small in size. The shape of the meristematic cell is spherical and it is smaller in size. Cell wall is thin. Cytoplasm is dense. What is cytoplasm? Cytoplasm is a gel-like fluid present in the cell. Vacuoles are small, numerous in number. Small vacuoles are present which are many in number. There is no stored food. Prominent nucleus is present. What does prominent nucleus mean? The prominent nucleus is a big in size and can easily seen by the microscope. On the screen you can see the image of the meristematic tissue which is spherical in shape and the numerous vacuoles are present which are small. There is a prominent nucleus. Meristematic tissue. What does meristematic tissue mean? A plant tissue that has the power to divide itself actively throughout its life cycle is called meristematic tissue. Meristematic tissue divides actively throughout its life with mitotic division. What is mitotic division? The division of the cell of the plant body. And what is meiosis division? Meiosis is the division of the cells of the egg cells and the sperm cells. Okay, fine. Now, based on their position and function, they are of three types. Mystematic tissues are of three types. One, apical meristem. Second is lateral meristem. Third is intercalary meristem. First one, apical meristem. It helps in the growth of root and shoot. Simply, it enlarges the plant, occurs at the root tip and the shoot tip of the plant. Apical meristem occurs at the tip of root and shoot. Apical meristem present in all the higher plants. What are the higher plants? Higher plants are the gymnosperms, angiosperms and the radiophytes. And the lower plants are the algae and bryophytes. Consists of protoderm, prokamium and ground meristem. Apical meristem consists of protoderm, prokambium, and ground meristem, which further protoderm forms the epidermis, prokambium forms the vascular tissue system, and ground meristem forms the cortex and pith. Okay, prokambium give rise to vascular tissue system that is xylem and phloem, protoderm, epidermis, and ground meristem gives rise to ground tissue which has the cortex and pith. On the screen, you can see the image of the longitudinal section of the shoot, which is differentiating the apical meristem, intercalary meristem, and lateral meristem. Apical meristem is present at the apex of the shoot, as this is the longitudinal section of the shoot, so we can say here shoot, and the intercalary meristem, which gives rise to the nodes and the internodes. And next, there is a lateral meristem, which gives rise to vascular tissues. Beside the longitudinal section of shoot, there is a transfer section of shoot showing the lateral meristem only, which form the vascular tissue system. Next is the lateral meristem. Lateral meristem helps the secondary growth of the plant. Secondary growth commonly occurs in the dicot plants because they have to increase in their diameter. Lateral meristem present in trees, shrubs and some grasses. Lateral meristem is common in all trees because the tree has to grow the trunk. When it comes to the shrubs, the shrubs are the small plants which does not grow trunk they directly cross the branches and some grasses increase the thickness of the plant by increasing the diameter the diameter of the plant increases as the vascular system of the plant increases primary phloem give rise to the secondary phloem and the primary xylem give rise to the secondary xylem 
which forms the vascular cambium ring. And of course, the vascular cambium is of two types, intrafascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium. Intrafascicular cambium means the vascular cambium present in between the xylem and phloem and interfascicular cambium refers to the vascular cambium present in between the two vascular bundles. Lateral meristem forms the wood, inner bark and outer bark. Next is intercalary meristem. Intercalary meristem occurs at the nodes and internodes and leaf bases of the plants. It occurs at the nodes and internodes and leaf bases of the plant. Increases the height of the plant with the increase of internode. Increase the height of the plant with the increase of internodes. Intercalary meristem present in grasses. Towards the tutorial of the meristematic tissue in Hindi, just click the i button on the screen. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do like, share, and subscribe to the channel.